me, I'm in Moab, Utah, and I'm at the southern tip of the Dead Horse Mesa here in Canyonlands National Park. And here's the overlook at the place they call Grandview. So the sun's a little low in the sky, but this is what you see from this viewpoint. And if you look right down there, there's a road and today I'm gonna ride that road. It's called the White Rim Trail here in Moab. It's a pretty spectacular ride. And at this point, there's a rim walk that goes right down here and along the rim. You can see people way out there. So this is the Schaefer Trail overlook. And you can see the ribbon of road that winds all the way down through there back and forth at the end of the white rim trail if you do it counterclockwise you have this climb up this road all the way up here so now i'm out riding the white rim trail now and i'm heading in the southerly direction and i'm going to ride out to muscleman arch and then return and ride back a couple of riders coming up here with uh trailers hello hello So look at the canyon off to the left there. It's pretty, it's a pretty amazing place. And the full White Rim Trail is about a hundred miles. And the way I did it before with White Rim Tours was in a counterclockwise direction and it took three days. We camped two nights out here. You have to have permits to do that and the tour operator arranges all that. And I think there are quotas, limitations as to how many they let do this. And so you can see from the road, it's a gravelly Jeep road. Yeah, look at that. Incredible scenery. Out that way. And I guess this video is, from what I remember, was day three, being this segment I'm on, was the most scenic of all three days. But the way they did it, counterclockwise, actually made sense because you start with some great views along the Green River. This is worth a hundred mile ride. Just a place like this. That's still the Green River. And guess what? It looks green. And it progressively builds throughout your ride, the scenery improves and gets even more and more spectacular. And uh, I would highly recommend you do it as a, with a tour company, instead of on your own like this. I mean, it's doable, but there's complications. And it's great to do a thing like this as a group. I think there was about 10 or 12 of us in our group and ranging from 16 years old to 80. One guy brought his son and it was the 80 year old guy's birthday. And he rode this all 100 miles. So it can be done by virtually anyone but it is physical, not technically hard, because you're riding on a road. But it's up and down, up and down, up and down. And along the way, there were some 
very interesting viewpoints and things that if you're on your own you'll just ride right past but our tour guides one who drove the truck and one who rode with us stopped and pointed out all these really cool things along the way one of them i remember was there are some petrified logs embedded in a sedimentary layer on the cliff face like millions of years ago and uh again you'd probably ride right past it without appreciating how cool that is and so if this shorter length teaser video makes you want to watch the feature length video of all three days i'll post a link to it at the end of this video i rode this i think five years ago let me stop right here so we can appreciate this amazing spot you can see the uh, the canyon way better down here than you can from the rim up top and if you look closely right down there that's the Colorado River see the road gets pretty janky if you're here on a pedestrian vehicle oh here's Musselman nice so that's the arch right there but there's a much better vantage point up ahead here there you go that's the arch like a big bridge what a place Yeah, there's four or five of these kind of things along the whole route. And so you really got to ride the whole thing to see them all. But they're like this. They're, I've, they're just amazing that things like this even exist in this world. How incredibly unique and scenic it is. I hope the uh, video bears this out because... Sometimes, you know, in person is way different than on a photo. There's a couple of guys over there walking about, give you a bit of sense of the scale of this thing. So just before I came here, there was a guy that was also on a bike, just a little bit behind me. But surprisingly, he didn't stop here. And that's what I encounter sometimes is people are so rushed to do stuff they forget to stop and enjoy the moment, the place. And uh, I suspect there's a lot of people come down here and don't know to stop because it's a little off the road and there's just this one little sign and you can't actually see far enough from the road what the feature is. All it says is Musselman Arch. So don't be in such a rush to get to a place or to pound out a ride without savoring the moment. There's my rant for the day. So I've now turned around and I'm heading back to where I started. So I'm riding in the northerly direction, but I thought I'd take this minor detour out to the Colorado River Overlook and have a look. Oh yeah, oh yeah, pretty spectacular too. It's amazing how green the Colorado gets. Yeah, it's Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner territory in here. So some very fit cross-country racers 
ride this whole hundred miles in a day. Uh, incredibly fit people. And it's not like riding on a road bike a hundred miles. You know, with those hard, thin tires with very little road resistance. You ride this trail and you're riding a bigger bike, heavier bike with bigger tires and 100 miles is massive. So I hope this video has tempted you to get out on your bike and ride. You don't have to ride the right white rim. Ride anywhere. Ride your local parks. Just get out and ride. Get some exercise. Exercise is the fountain of youth. It'll keep you young. Yeah, I remember when I rode this, the full length, and you get to this section and you're like a horse to water. You can just smell the finish. And after three days of this awesomeness, you got a hunger on because of all the exercise and the reward at the end. For me, a nice cold beer. But also to camp out here, two nights under the stars in the wilderness, you can, it's, it's deadly silent and spiritual and the camaraderie around a campfire. Well, I'm now on the Schaefer Road, the Schaefer Trail Road. And if you look closely way up that cliff face, straight ahead, that's the road I gotta climb to get out of here. So that concludes today's video, folks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. So this is the overlook at the top of the Schaefer Trail, and you can see the road meander down that way. And I'll walk out here to the point, very scenic view of the White Rim Road.